Good morning on this Tuesday. Um, my name is Sue Dow. I am an elder at Central Christian Church, and I will be doing the devotion for today. I would like to start by reading Proverbs 28.20. A faithful man will abound with blessings. Today, we woke up in a world where we face a lot of uncertainty. The way we are living now with personal distancing and working from home is a totally new way of life for us. Many people have lost their jobs or lost loved ones. This is a troubling time, but at the same time, there are many ordinary people in our nation and in the world who are doing extraordinary things to solve the challenges that this new virus and this new way of life presents us with and has now become our new reality. Many people throughout this country are finding ways to help those in their community. It may be making masks, calling on neighbors, doing shopping for those who can't. The list goes on. Hopefully you too have had time to think and have started on your personal venture. When we start something new, there is no guarantee that it will be successful, especially on our first try. But unless we persist and endure, definitely we will never succeed. We need to have the kind of faith that no matter how long it takes us, that we will each reach our final go goals. This has to be the kind of faith that will not only sustain us for days, for weeks, or months, but will even last for years. We as individuals, a community, a nation, need to have this kind of faith today in this time. I read recently that in the year 1653, when all things sacred throughout the nation of England were either demolished or profaned, Sir Robert Shirley Burnet founded a church whose singular praise is to have done the best things in the worst times. We need as individuals, as a church, a community, state, and nation to do great things in this time of adversity. It is natural that we become impatient when problems are not solved quickly, but we need to remember what has been taught to us in Proverbs 28, 20, to have the kind of faith that will assist, help, and comfort us in this troubling time. Today, we need to come together for the better good of our community. Faith plays a huge part in our healing. Faith is what sustains us. We all need to rely on our faith in this troubled time. We as Christians have been told that if you have faith and believe, you will be blessed. It is during this time that we need to be full in our faith. We need to accomplish the best things in the worst times. Will you pray with me? Lord, in this difficult time, help us to have that kind of faith in you that will sustain us. We ask that you be with all those who are working on finding an answer to this virus. Be with those who are attending to those who need care. Help, us, help each one of us to do something good in this time of trouble. We know that you are with us and will guide us during this. We want to thank you for all the blessings that you continue to give us each day. We praise your name. We ask this in Jesus, in Jesus Christ. Amen.